Hi guys, how are you? So we are discussing in the GATT 2015 question paper. One of the question was among the following, the compound that does not act as a diene in Diels-Alder reaction. So what happened in Diels-Alder reaction? In Diels-Alder reaction, a diene react with a dienophile. This is a diene and this is a dienophile to form in heating condition to form a cyclic product this is a 4 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction and this product will be formed now this diene will have two configuration that is this is s cis configuration s cis and this is s trans this is sigma cis sigma trans now in s cis configuration these two hydrogens are uh, very closer so due to some interaction steric interaction it the s trans configuration is much preferable and this diene generally prefers to remain in s trans configuration but for diels alder reaction we must have s cis configuration because the s cis configuration participate in diels alder reaction and here the lobe of uh, these two carbon will interact with the lobe of this two carbon now in a s trans configuration the lobes are very uh, are, are far away to each other and it will not uh, react with the lobe of this whereas in SCS configuration, the lobes are quite closer and it interacts easily with this diene, with this dienophile. So there must be a small energy barrier between SCS and S trans configuration, so that S trans configuration can easily be converted into a cis configuration, and it will participate in Diels-Alder reaction. Now between these four diene, here this diene has a cis configuration. So it will uh, act as a diene, whereas in this uh, diene, the double bond are in S trans configuration. Now, if as it is S trans, now it cannot be converted into S cis configuration because this double bond are incorporated in, in a ring. So the conversion of S trans into S cis is not possible for this compound because the energy barrier is very high. So this S, uh, this diene will not participate in diels alder reaction. That is, this diene will not act as a act, will not act as a diene in diels alder reaction. Whereas in this compound, this is S cis, so it will act as a diene in diels alder reaction, and this is also S cis, so it will also act as a diene in diels alder reaction so the question the answer is this our next question the reaction of benzaldehyde and paramethyl benzaldehyde under mcmody coupling condition that is tcl3 and lithium aluminum hydride gives a mixture of alkene the number of alkene formed is so the general reaction of mcmody coupling is Uh, two moles of aldehyde or ketone will react in presence of TiCl3 TiCl3 with a reducing agent that is LiAlH4 or sometimes zinc copper couple is used as a reducing agent and the product will be and alkene and a mixture of cis and trans alkene will be formed this is cis this is trans now if we use two type of aldehyde that is this plus let's say this is r prime this then what what we'll get we'll get 
द कपलिंग बिटवीन दिस टू एंड अनदर प्रोडक्ट द कपलिंग ऑफ बिटवीन दिस टू एंड ए मिक्सड प्रोडक्ट कपलिंग बिटवीन दिस टू सो वट विल बी द प्रोडक्ट दट विल बी सी डबल वन सी इफ वी टू मोलिकल्स ऑफ दिस गेट कपल देन विल गेट टू प्रोडक्ट लाइक दिस दिस टू कंपाउंड सो द सीस प्लस ट्रेंड्स Now, if two molecule of this compound get coupled, then it will get two product like this. This will be R prime, R prime, H H. This is cis plus R prime, R prime H H. And also, if coupling occur between these two, then we will have another two product that is r r r prime h h plus trans c double one c r r prime h h so we'll have six product if two different type of aldehyde participate in macmurray reaction tcl3 in al with with al lithium aluminum hydride now the question was the reaction of benzaldehyde and para methyl benzaldehyde under macmurray coupling condition so benzaldehyde means this is benzaldehyde plus para methyl benzaldehyde C S three C H O. So this is R C H O, and this is R prime C H O. So when this R prime C H O and R C H O participate in Macmurray reaction, we will get six product. So the number of alkene formed in this reaction will be six. Our next question: The correct order of reactivity of para halo nitrobenzene in the following reaction. This is a para halo nitrobenzene derivative, which is treated with NaOME. And in this reaction, the X, that is the halogen, will substituted with OME group. So this is an aromatic nucleophilic substitution reaction. This group is substituted by a nucleophile that is OME group. So aromatic nucleophilic substitution reaction. Aromatic nucleophilic substitution. So this uh, reaction generally proceeds via addition elimination mechanism. That means addition elimination mechanism. That means This is the para halo nitrobenzene. The nucleophile will attack at this carbon first, and the carbon ion will generate. Now, this carbon ion will be stabilized. By resonance, and we will get two to three resonating structure. So this is how this compound gets stabilized, and finally we will get another resonating structure also. But I am not drawing here. and finally finally this group will eliminate and a substitution reaction will take place that is we will get the product so this is step 1 of 
where the nucleophile will attack into this carbon whereas this is step 2 this is addition and this is elimination between these two step this is the slow step that is the step 1 is slow step whereas step 2 is fast step now generally benzene halobenzene will not participate in nucleophilic substitution reaction because here already uh, because two to three reasons are there here the lone pair of electron are in conjugated with this pi electron so there is a considerable double bond character between the carbon and halogen so this bond is quite stable and it will not uh, break and another reason is in benzene there is a pi electron cloud above the plane and below the plane also so here is a pi electron cloud above the plane and as well as below the plane so the nucleophile will not uh, come will not able to come at this carbon because of this electron cloud uh, uh, repulsion with this electron cloud and also it is a sp2 carbon and the substitution reaction from sp2 carbon is not possible because csp2 bond is stronger than csp3x bond this is stronger because of uh, the bond length is lesser than this and that's why the halobenzene generally not participate in substitution reaction but if an activating group that is nitro or cn group are attached to ortho or para then this is get activated and due to the stability of this sigma complex this is called meissenheimer complex due to stability of this meissenheimer complex the substitution reaction take place now we have to determine here the order the order of uh, the rate of this four compound in aromatic nucleophilic substitution reaction so now as this is the slow step here if it is fluorine then it will attract more electrophilic character into this carbon and it will attract the nucleophile more easily the nucleophile more easily attack into this carbon so the order of reactivity will be for fluorine it will be higher than chlorine then bromine then iodine so that, that will be the order of reactivity but if this step 2 is the slow step then the order will be reverse because the ci bond has very uh, bond length energy is less so it will be cleave easily so the rate will be higher for ci but in actual practice the first step is the slow step and the rate observed is this that is uh, for fluorobenzene flu para fluoro it is highest for para iodonitrobenzene it is least